Hiya guys, today is just a very quick video. I want to share with you my first experience of using nail vinyls. And they're from nailstickers.com. I won them in a giveaway. I've already popped some of them on my nails. Um, obviously there's the other hand, I haven't used them yet. Um, just in case you want to know what's on my nails. It's two indie polishes. It's a girl obsessed in the shade It Rains Diamonds on Jupiter. And over that then I've got Polish Me Silly in the shade Heaven Scent. Right, the first thing I noticed with the nail vinyls when I went to use them is they're actually massive and I've got tiny nails. So I basically just took a little scissors and I made a cut halfway down. Don't know if that's like the recommended thing to do, but I think obviously it's going to make them last longer and... As you can see there's still like a lot of overlap there for me to pick them up with the tweezers let's get started um what i'm gonna do on the ring finger only um because i'm scared to use them because i've never used them before i'm just gonna put uh this little pink on um to make little zigzags i think it'll complement the blue quite nicely so what I've been doing is taking them off with a tweezer because I've got the chubbiest fingers in the world. As it says on the instructions, just to pop it on the back of your hand first. So I've done that. Oops, stuck. So take it off the back of your hand then with the tweezers. And then apply it as straightly as you can. And to be honest, they're actually quite easy to use. Um, I'd already popped some on just because I didn't want this to be a really really long video and I want it to be kind of real timey so you can see how I get on with them and how long it takes me to use them first okay so just pop it on my hand press it down peel it off I think this is the last one. Oops. Yep. Just make sure that they're all pressed down as well, otherwise I'm probably gonna have an absolute disaster. Right then. So here's the fun bit. This is where it could all go badly wrong for me. So there is my nail. There's my polish. I've just opened it ready. Just making sure. Sorry, that it all stuck on nicely. So a nice thick coat of polish, I suppose. Maybe it'll go wrong, I don't know. I wonder if I can just go with another coat straight away. I'm experimenting, I will try. Right then. Okay, that's looking kind of good. Oh my god, they're actually easy to take off. I'll just stick these on the paper, I think. Sorry if you can see my hand shaking. That is nerves. I go like that if I'm doing something different that I'm not used to doing. Oh wow. I really like this. This is cool. I really, really didn't expect it to look this good. Especially for a first go and with me doing it. So I'll just zoom you in so you can see. And focus you in a bit. And if you can see all, oh god, sorry, <laughs> all the way around the nail, looks fine. This does look a little bit patchy on this side, but then again, this is my first attempt. I've never ever used them before. So anyway, if you are better at using them than me, and you'd like to buy some, the website's www.nailstickers.com. Um, it's been there throughout the whole video. I just wanted to come back to show you that I've done the other, um, oops, the right hand. That actually turned out a lot better. I don't know if you can see, but I've got it all the way around. And I was wondering if I could just show you like a little tip if you don't want to take off the nail, if you've done it wrong, like I did the first one wrong, 
I really do think I could patch this up. Um, it may not look perfect, but I'll try. Just use a blob of the nail polish that you used with the stencil. Use a really, really fine brush. And let me get in the frame. Don't know if you can see. But you can just add in the bits that didn't go quite right for you. And that should be okay. Because um, after all, I don't really want to do my nails perfect today. Because I have an absolute crap job to do next week in work. Um, starting tomorrow, all week long, my nails aren't going to really last five minutes in work. So I thought it was a good time to experiment. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. I don't know if you can see the little patch up I just made. Let's have a little zoom and whatnot because this camera really isn't that good. There we go. Obviously, it's not as perfect as the other finger, but that doesn't look so bad now. Um, also, I wanted to show you as well that with cutting the nail vinyls in half, the amount I've used, I would have used one whole section because they come in little sections. It would have been one whole one, but it was only half. So that's a good tip, I thought, for anyone else who's got really thin nails. I don't know what I can compare them to for you. Um, maybe, here we go, I've got a coloured pencil. It's a bit of a weird thing to have here, but... <laughs> um, Let's have a little look. There we go. Can you see how thin my nails are? If I just put the pencil by the nail, they're about the same size. And everyone knows pencils are really not that thick. I just want to show you as well me applying the top coat to the uh, nail. My little patch up has dried now, so. Yeah, that seems fine. It doesn't smudge or anything brilliant so thank you for watching and um i'll pop all the links for nail stickers in the down bar and their instagram page so thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye